What up, my people? Shenny for Christ here. And as you can see, I'm at an arcade. an arcade. And not only that, bitches, but it's an arcade at the movie theater. And we're going to see Detective Pikachu. And I'm really inebriated. So it's going to be a good time. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Um, <coughs> JWE here, Revelation News. And uh, so, like, things have gotten kind of crazy with... Uh, <coughs> These drama investigator people getting involved in mine and Shannon's lives. <clears throat> so, uh, I am obligated now. Well, I'm not obligated, but I, I feel like I have to. Jesus Christ. Fucking cat. Would you stop scratching watermelon? Thank you. I'll keep it on everyone. All right. Thanks, Will. So here, here's the thing, guys. I kind of have, I'm like, I'm not obligated because I don't feel like I'm obligated. But now, once again, this shit is, is interfering with mine and Shannon's lives. Hi, Crimson Angel. God bless you. And we are happy. We are a happy married couple with two awesome kids that we love. And we have a great life. When people in the internet are not interfering with our lives, we're happy. So I'm going to describe to you exactly what happened on December 15th as best as I, or sorry, on May 15th, because I believe that's the date. It's May 15th or 16th, something like that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you what happened that day. OK, as best as I can remember it. And with the correction of a person that wasn't having mental issues and wasn't having wet brain issues at the time, because there's a correction from what I remember. OK, because I admit that I number one, I was drinking that night. So right off the bat. I mean, yeah, I know Crimson Angel. Yeah, people are still bringing this shit up. Yeah, they are because they're assholes and, and they lit like they're harassing us on the Internet at this point. You know, uh, I'm a white supremacist. Shannon's a racist. We're all these crazy things to these people. And now they're making like documentary videos about us. Like it reminds me of like uh, what's that show like TMZ or. Uh, freaking THS, I think, the true Hollywood story on, on E! Entertainment Television. They've gotten that crazy about this stuff. And, and now it's stressing out and, and really bothering Shannon. And, and it's, it's I, I, you know, people don't fucking care the consequences yeah, they are a bunch of losers. They are, Crimson Angel. You're 100% right. They are. But it's it's really getting to her for obvious reasons, you know? And they don't care about the consequences of this shit that they put on the internet. They don't care. What happened at the ER? I'm going to, you know, I, okay, the ER, I don't even know that. That's something Shannon would have to tell you. I have no idea. Uh, as far as I know, they took her right to a holdup. As far as I know, I don't know if they took her to an ER to get checkup, to get a checkup. They should have because she was having heart palpitations. She was very stressed out and it's because of me. Thanks for the thumbs up. So here's here's basically what happened. We had a great a great day. Like we 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 started off. Going to uh, this this bar. It's not a bar. It's a brewery here in Boulder. I can't remember the name of it. They're all selfish idiots who only want to hurt people. That's pretty much true. 
So we we went to this brewery that had food. And I had a meal and they had a special on beers. Like it was like you could you could uh, try different beers. So it, it was like a tray of like four cups like that of beer. Right. So Shannon and I both got that. Uh, and that was the first mistake. I should not have fell off the wagon that I fell off the wagon. That was me falling off the wagon. And it was a bad decision. Period. And that decision alone should have set up the rest of this so that Shannon wasn't in trouble at all. Okay. Sit on beer. Yeah, it was strong shit, dude. It like the beer that from this place was it had to be like the the some of the stuff, probably 20%. It was it was strong. So I had one of them, she had one of them. Oh, so we go to this, we go to this restaurant, we have uh, we have drinks. So we already drank at this restaurant. Uh I felt it a little bit, not much, because my tolerance is huge because I'm I'm an alcoholic, right? But it my tolerance wasn't as high now because because uh I hadn't been drinking for a year at all nothing so my tolerance too was low right so so I went I I I partake in this alcohol and it I felt it a little bit um uh, okay, so after that, we end up going to see Detective Pikachu, the movie. And I, I, at that point, we got more drinks at the theater. We got a couple more drinks at the theater. So at that point, I, I was like five sheets, man, because the stuff, whatever the stuff was at the theater, it was like frozen drink stuff. No offense, but tolerance never goes away with alcohol. Look it up. There's they're done, Rev. Maybe you were drugged. No, I wasn't drugged at all. No. Yeah, Detective Pikachu. It, like, I didn't even really want to see this movie, but it, it is what it is. So, apparently what happens in the theater, and I don't remember this. I legitimately did not remember this. That's why there's this conflict between Shannon and I's story in the theater and what I say to the cops in that video because I don't remember it. I didn't remember hitting her at all in the theater. I smacked her hand apparently. Like like that. Like get off me. I want to I wanted to go and have my drinks and have a fucking I I wanted to smoke. So did you get a copy of the police report? Uh let's just say that all of this stuff that like this is over with. This whole thing like the case that they had against Shannon is all she needs to do is go to uh, domestic abuse classes and she finishes them and the case is completely dismissed. The bottom line here, okay, after we got home from the theater, we, we were going to bed together. And what happened there was I said something hurtful. I know I did. I said something mean because that's why I can't drink. Because I become an arrogant, really just arrogant asshole to be around. Do you understand me? So I said something hurtful and she smacked me in the face because that's what I mean. That's a, just a normal reaction, right? Right. Anybody would do that. If you say something hurtful to somebody, that that's that's what you open your the possibility up to is them smacking you. And she did. She smacked me. And I'm that's fine. I said something assholey. I should have been smacked. But it like did something to me in my brain. And I just like turned on into this fucking freak. And I just started saying to her, I want my fucking keys. I want my fucking keys. I want my fucking keys. Give me my keys. I want to go for I want to go and get a, a Baja Blast at. Uh, uh, what do you call oh, Taco Bell? That was right next door. Rev honest question. You can see the way Shannon acts on the Internet ends up causing her pain. Shouldn't you step in and tell her she needs a break? Well, that always happens. Do you understand that? What, honey? 
What, honey? What? Four people waiting. Hello, hello, hello. YouTube. So I wanted to wrap this up, you know, folks. So I wanted to wrap this crap up, folks, okay? And I never want to talk about this shit again. Because honestly, it's traumatic for myself as well. Thank you for the like. I was going through shit myself at that time. So the rest of the story is basically this. Like I said, I said something to Shannon that was not nice, that was hurtful. I can't even remember what it was, folks, and that's the truth. I'm sorry about that, but that's just an alcoholic's mind is sometimes extremely uh, forgetful, and it's terrible. She smacked me, and, and I got fucked up, and I just got messed up in the head, and I started saying, you know, I just, I just want my keys to go and get a soda and I was in no shape to fucking drive at all I was definitely drunk I was too and yeah we were both drunk and it was it was you know it, Shannon did the right thing when you have somebody that's that's drunk that wants to get in their car and drive you, you fucking step in you say no you're not gonna drive but my mind was messed up, and I was just in this drone mode. I was like, I want my keys, I want my keys, I just want my keys, I just want my keys. And she was afraid for me. Oh, no, that's not good. Exactly, Deadhead 420. Yeah, drunk and the wheel don't mix. And I'm extremely anti-drinking and driving. I always have been. Uh... And I never engaged in that crap myself. So that was all that really happened. It it was just it just that that thing in the bedroom turned into this crescendo of we probably shouldn't be in the same room right now because I said something shitty to her and I don't even I like I said I can't remember what it was but it was obviously bad because of her reaction and uh. She ended up calling the police because I was acting weird. I was acting weird. And and the thing about her cheating, it's complete crap. Never happened. I was hearing things. I don't know what was going on in my brain, but it wasn't good because I was hearing shit that wasn't there. So I couldn't walk. I like, literally felt like jello. Like I was just like this going into the hospital today. And um, they tested to see if I was having a heart attack or if I had cardiomyopathy because I told them about my mom having cardiomyopathy. So they gave me a, check, a, a, a chest x-ray just to make sure I don't have cardiomyopathy because I've been dealing with like really bad, sharp chest pains. Actually, I, I have to go and call a cardiologist tomorrow because they still are concerned about it because my blood pressure was literally like a solid 133 over 86 and that is so fucking high for me so fucking high and um at one point it was 168 over um 103 i was really fucking scary i was really fucking scary the police know you were borderline yeah i told them i was borderline they don't care they don't care i needed to go i needed to go to the mental ward i didn't need to go to jail i needed to go to the mental ward you know i freaked out i freaked out and it's my fault and i take responsibility for it but I want my baby so bad. I want my husband. I want my kids. I'm so alone in this hotel room. So alone. 
you know. But this is how they deal with people who have mental problems in this country. They throw them in jail instead of throwing them in the mental ward like they should be. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing DBT again and getting into that again. Um, because I shouldn't have freaked out like that. But I did. I did. And I'm not proud of it. But it happened. And, like, really, what I, I, what I want to do is I really want to try to expose how they treat mental patients in jail. Because it's so fucking wrong. You don't fucking strip someone fucking naked and put them on a fucking on freak floor naked and put them in solitary confinement. I was literally in solitary confinement. It was horrifying. And then all night long, I haven't had any sleep either. All night long, all night long. And I can't communicate with Jason, so he doesn't even know what happened. It's a horrible thing. He doesn't even know what happened. When I went to court today, he was there in court. He was there. And he was whispering, I love you to me. He got in trouble with police for doing that, actually, to me. But he was there, and he loves me, and I know he loves me. How did he trigger my anger? He got in my face. That's the worst thing you can do is just get in my fucking face like that and start, like, just... Don't do that to me. Like, I black out and I get violent, and I, I can't help it. I can't help it. It's, 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 I need to go, I need to go to therapy for it because it, it is a really bad trigger for me is someone getting in my face, you know, and being aggressive toward me. Because I do have a tendency of becoming violent over that shit. And I don't, I know it's because of my, you know, my past rapes and I, I get like defensive and shit and I know I shouldn't, but it's like, I, I don't think people realize. When I say I hate men, I really do. I'm, I'm, I'm very much afraid of male aggression in any way, shape, or form. I'm, I'm really, truly afraid of it. And then it happened, and I blew. I'm sorry I did it. Because, you know, you may call me an awful person all you want, but me slapping someone across the face, I don't think is equivalent. It still hurts. But I do take responsibility. I do know I lost my shit, and I lost my temper, and I need to fix this thing in my head. When I get co cornered, I black out and I fucking pop. I, I don't know what causes that in my head. Because I'm not a violent person. But when I'm cornered, though, when I feel like that male aggression on me, I just, I stop. The same thing happened with Chris's brother. He started getting in my face and started pushing me. And I popped. I don't like men who... Wait, so I was CYA. Yeah, I was covering my ass. Yeah, I, I'm fine now. It's, 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 you know, and I, I'm sorry. What's your name, sir? This is Jason. Jason, okay. Jason, Jason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and that's, is that normal for you, Jason? Yeah, no, no, I, I haven't been reading. So it's like, yeah, it's... Okay, so apparently you guys went to the movies. Mm -hmm. Do you have all those drinks at the movies? No, I, I, I had like two, I had like four at the theater. And like, and like three, and like three mm -hmm. at the restaurant. Yeah. Okay, and then you guys, you said you guys kind of got a little disagreement. 
Yeah. Did you raise your hand to her? No, I did not do that. Did you touch her at all? No. I did not I did not raise a hand to her at all. Did you make any physical contact? No. Even hitting her on the arm or anything? I mean she I <laughs> yeah, we're getting two different stories now. Wait, wait, I know. When when somebody's touching you, sometimes you touch them. You know okay. what I mean? Like she's touching me, so what am I supposed to do? Like Okay. Well, that's you know what I, uh, like, that's what we're being told. Yeah, like, am I supposed, am I supposed to just like let her break my neck or something? Like, break it, break it. Not even talking about breaking your neck. Said you made contact with her arm. Did you not hit her arm? No, I. What I'm saying is, if she's coming at me, like, am I? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like, like, like this or something? Okay. So you're saying you didn't even touch her, and then you're saying that you, you did. I mean, what, what's the deal? She touched me. She touched she you. She came at me. Okay. I was just putting my hands like that to, to try and be like, she's a big girl, right, man? Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Real quick, say what you got to say. So you're going to be responsible for the boys tonight, okay? I didn't want to press charges. Do you understand? I understand. Okay. I didn't want to press charges. We know that, but for domestic violence, you know, our hands are kind of tied. Even if you didn't want to press charges. She called the police. Okay. Can we, can we, like, do something about this? No, come on. We've got to go snipe through. Can you take care of my baby? I did not. Take, take care of my baby, Jason. Help me, then. Bye, Jason. This is called MK Ultra, by the way. Uh -huh. Time for a program. <laughs> I, de I defend myself as a woman. And I'm going to jail. Okay. So what happened yesterday? Yeah, it's just like, you know, she got a little aggressive. Because that's not from yesterday. Yeah. It's, it's okay. That's, you know? that's new, man. Isn't it? It's, it's just all red around it. I mean, it sense that it's new. You're just, it is let, what it is, man. Let's be honest, let's just, let, let's cut this to the chase, man. Obviously, there was an altercation, correct? Yeah. And it was tonight, and it was physical. Yeah, there was, yeah. Okay. Was be, so, yeah. why are you trying to, I mean, why are you just, I, I have no reason, like, I want to just be able to be honest, like, be true, to trust me, and all that, and, no, I and do. be honest, but you're just, I do she's down there. Absolutely, brother, I, yeah. I trust you. 100%. But at the same time, like, you're just, you know, you're lying to me. I like get why. I mean, it makes sense. No, I'm I'm 100. percent I'm telling. It's what what happened is there were there were there was a little bit of a altercation. But okay. Hi. It's cool downstairs. Though, man. Downstairs. So was it? I mean, was she trying to stop you from driving, or was she trying to beat you? No. Were you trying to push through her to go drive away to, to leave? No. It's it's she got upset because I said I wanted my keys. And I, if, if she's saying that it's because she's worried that I was gonna, I was drunk or whatever, and I'm, you know, Taco Bell's right there. Okay, so if that's what she's saying, it was cool. But I got frustrated because I just wanted to, I just wanted to get a bottle of blast, man. You know, a bottle of what? A bottle of blast. A bottle of blast. Yep. Gotcha. That's all I, wanted. I was like, I don't know what that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, to that's drink. All, that's all I wanted, man. Yeah. Okay. And she wouldn't give me the key. So if she's saying that's what was, I'm sorry, I apologize. So how did they get physical? I don't understand. She was trying to get you to stop from going outside. No, she just she decided to take a whip and start whipping me with it, man. A you know? whip? Yeah. What? We, have, kind of we have a whip from Mamie's over there at the sex shop, you know. Oh, okay. So it's like a. Is it like Indiana Jones, 20 feet long kind of thing? No, like no, it's not a big whip. No, it's just, it's, I mean, you could go and look at it if you want to. It's just a, it's like it, you know, it's got like, uh, 
uh, fuzzy stuff on it, and like, uh, like some... Kind of like a sexual fetish kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. It's, okay. it's got some, like, leather stuff on it. She's slapping with it. Gotcha. It's all right. You know, it's fine. She was got, she, uh, she... So why was she... Why did she hit you with that? Huh? Why did she hit you with that? To get you to stop from going? She was frustrated with me because I, you know, I didn't so much want to see the Pikachu movie, so I went outside and I was just hanging out and, like, having cigarettes or whatever. So, gotcha. she's frustrated. So it was all because of the movie you didn't want to go to, and then all of a sudden you came back and you guys started arguing just a little bit? Yeah, and then was, yeah, she's just frustrated with me, and I was frustrated because I, you know, I just... So then you guys both were arguing. Yeah. Like, just verbally. Yeah. Let me make sure if I got this right. So you're ar arguing verbally. Just smack me in the face, but it's whatever. So, <laughs> you know. So I see marks on your legs, too. Is that those, like, mosquito yeah, bites? Yeah, she's, uh, she's cracked me with the whip. <laughs> that, that was today, dirty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when we came home. Okay. She's cracking me with the whip. Okay, and did you hit her back? No. <laughs> Never? Nope. Okay. Well, where, where was the whip there? Like, so you guys were arguing in like the living room right there? I, I haven't been inside. I have yeah, no idea. yeah. No, it's we like were, right there? Yeah, we were in the bedroom at the time that that happened. Okay. We were in the bedroom. Okay. Yeah, I just, the, the whip was not used, there, nothing for sexual stuff, just for, the, and you should try to hurt At that point, yeah. Okay. She just wanted to smack me. And that those marks on your legs and arms are from? From the whip. Today. Yeah. From, yeah. from the argument, nothing... Yep. Not for any other, like, you know, previous... Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. That's today. So, so. it's kind of like, let me, let me make sure I understand. It's kind of like, I'd say almost three feet long? Uh, well, I don't know. Three feet. Uh, well, yeah, Brad, that's, you know, give or take a little bit. Give yeah. or take, I guess. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> too, I'm a fisherman, so they're all like. Right, you know, exactly, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. No, um, but I mean, like I said, you could check it out. It's I mean, was she just like hauling back, like baseball style swinging, or was she kind of just like. I, kind of she, tapping? She's swinging, she's swinging, man. But like I said, it's okay, because it was, it's just an argument. It was stupid, you know? It's like. Uh, you don't like how I acted at the theater or whatever? Fine, you know? I did not hit her in the theater. That's bullshit. I just went, I left the theater. I was just sitting outside the theater. That's it. Okay. So. <laughs> gotcha. That's it, man. That's all okay. I can tell you. So, she hits you with, I'm, I'm going to call it a bull whip, because I don't know. It's a whip. Uh, yeah. It's a whip. I mean, um, a fetish whip. I don't know. Okay, yeah. I've called it a fe fetish whip. Yeah, that's so So, like she's that. hitting you with a fetish whip, but she's... With right hand, left hand, both hands? Yeah, it's like, just like that, man. Like, like one hand, yeah. Just so good. So we got, we got called and said that you had hit her. Yeah, I know, and that's not true. <laughs> At all. Okay. That's not true. I mean, that's all I can say. Okay. You know. Okay. I mean, I, I do love her. Yeah. Yeah, were, you even, were you trying to stop her from hitting you with the whip? Or? Yeah, it's anything like that, man. You know, I mean, I, I was just holding, you know. Okay. Next all, I did, all I did was what I hold, dude. You know, that's all I was doing. So you're holding the whip or you're holding I was the hand? I was trying to just... She's a big girl, dude. So I'm just trying to hold. That's it, dude. You know? Okay. And how, how bad did it hurt when you got hit with the whip? I know you said it's fine. I'm just yeah, it's, it was it was it was fine. It was. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. No big deal, you know. It's fine. Okay. You know. Okay. You know? But yeah, I'm sorry. I regret it. And gotcha. That's that. You know. Has this happened before? Any of this stuff? Mm -mm. No arguments. I mean, we've had arguments before, but not not like this, man. It was it was just it was a stupid it was a stupid late night stupid thing. It was alcohol, whatever. You know, that's that's all it was. I just wanted my keys to get a Baja Blast. That's it. Yeah. Gotcha. That's it. I get
get that do, right? Is that, that's Mountain Dew style, right? Yeah, exactly. No, it's like yeah. blue one, though, right? Or the blue one. Light, yeah. Like dark blue, light green, dark blue, whatever. Sort of light blue, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Um, so let me, get, let me backtrack a little bit and make okay. sure I'm understanding. You said you were hearing voices, too. What is, can you describe that a little bit better? Because it kind of doesn't know. Well, I, that, that, that's... That's thinking that, that she might be screwing another guy or guys, you okay. know. So, but then that's my deal. I that's for me to deal with. That I think I have heard that. If she's saying it's voices, that's her story. Whatever, you know. Okay. I just hear. I think I hear what I'm hearing. So. Okay. So. So when you you come home and then you hear, you think that she's, you know, cheating on you. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that, and it's it's. I mean, I. You're married. I don't know if you're married. You got somebody. That's neither here nor there. Right. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. If you think if you think somebody if you think you're the person you love is cheating on you, it hurts. No, it right. does. Yeah. So, but you know, if she's saying that's in my head. That's in my head. Whatever. That's fine. You know. Um. Sorry. What was your name again? Jason. 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 You got somewhere to go tonight. So Jason, I don't, man, Jason man. showed me those two marks on his leg, and as well as his arms, yeah. and that said that she had hit him with a little bit of a, like a fetish whip. Yeah, yeah. but I it said it's okay, man. It's fine. Oh, okay. Not in a good way. <laughs> it's okay, man. It, she meant it in an angry way, but it was it didn't hurt. It's okay. Okay, Jason. Here's the deal. Um, obviously, you know she's she's claiming you slapped her. Got some some stuff going on here. Okay. But uh, tonight we need to try to get you guys separated. Okay. So right now. All right. You know if you're okay with that. Okay. Nobody's gonna go to jail. Okay. But we need to get you guys away from each other for at least the night. Our Perfect audio. Okay. I have to address you guys because this is really nasty and disgusting. Like you're talking really loud. I am simply projecting my voice for a microphone. But it's very loud. No, it's not that loud. Okay, that's why my ears are ringing. Yeah, if I was loud, I don't honey, even know. Honey, like, a lot of people told you you're being loud. No, you don't know what loud is. Because I could be loud, but I'm not loud. Okay? I could you, be loud. Okay, can you trust me for once instead of arguing with All me? All right. Listen We've been having me. this problem for a really long time. I now. can't even do anything on my channel. I don't like men who... I want to know what love is. I want you to show me I want to feel what love is I, I don't think people realize me. When I say I hate men I really do I'm, I'm... Do, 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 do. I'm gonna take a little time Little time to look around me. I've got nowhere left to hide. It looks like love has finally found me. Okay, lesbians want fucking pussy. They don't want a fucking dick. There's been heartache and pain. I'm almost at that point. Hey, look, Travis. If I could face it again. Can't stop now. I've traveled so far. The change that lonely life. I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. I wanna feel what love is. That point, because I just, I'm not attracted to men. It's gone. There's no attraction to men anywhere. You broke her, Rev. Oh, 
Jesus Christ shows you the true love. Oh, hallelujah. That was awesome, folks. What? And then, you know, they're nice. Because to you're a wolf cow, you fat cunt. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>